Some good news for householders and businesses today. The annual rate of inflation has fallen to its lowest level for more than a year, but it's still higher than the government's target and well above the rate average earnings are increasing by. Well, all this year, we're charting the fortune of trade in Bampton in rural Mid-Devon. Our reporter, Andrea Ormsby, has been back to see what the butcher and the bistro make of today's news. Love is in the air and money is in the till. Valentine's Day is a boost for business at the Toucan Cafe Bistro here in Bampton. And today's inflation figures are also heartening. The inflation rate being down in theory hopefully will mean that people have got a little bit more money to spend on the likes of food and coming out. So that will affect us in a positive way, I hope. Um, but the underlying costs are so expensive, we're still um, absorbing really the 20% VAT increase from last year. So there's still a lot of you know, worrying times ahead. Over the road at the butchers, John Westcott sees the slowdown in inflation as another sign of recovery. From today's inflation figures, it sounds good news for people. It'll make the pain go further, so they'll be able to come and afford to buy good local produce, and everybody will feel a bit more comfortable with their savings and everything going a bit further. Today's inflation figures might be good, but here in Bampton, other factors may take the shine off. The good news is, is that inflation is, is going down, there's no doubt about that. However, the cost of fuel is still going up. And for our businesses and our communities, this is not helpful. It involves not only our customers having to spend money to get here, but also exporting our goods and services across the patch. So far, Bampton's kept its head above choppy economic waters, mostly because of its loyal rural following. So do shoppers here notice they've got more money in their wallets? No, definitely not. What I buy at the supermarket and living in the country, you probably go once a week. You seem to have less in your trolley and you're spend, actually spending out more. I haven't particularly noticed anything else. I mean, obviously petrol's high, but we don't use our car because we live here and all the shops are absolutely great. Well, it has to be good news, but I can't say that I've noticed any difference so far. But hopefully, you know, things will get better in the future. I don't have more money in my pocket. Quite simply, I'm a pensioner with a fixed income. So people might not feel better off today, but with inflation due to continue falling, they might notice the difference in a few months' time. Andrea Ormsby, BBC Spotlight, Bampton.